quite telling how Meghan Markle spoke of the royal household as the firm, an expression that royalty uses for itself lightly, but not inaccurately. Royalty is big business. Just how big is a multi-billion dollar question. Whichever way you count, it's a lot. Forbes estimates that the royal family is worth $28 billion, and that's based on official data. Just the land, just the property that royalty owns was listed as worth $19 billion last year. No surprise that Crown Estate employs 450 people just to manage all that. As of March 2020, the profit on all that was $500 million for the year of which the royal family got 25% as a sovereign grant, the rest went to the government. But on upwards of $100 million for a year, it should be possible to live reasonably well. All that land and property, that $19 billion worth of it, is still not all there is. There is yet more managed by what are called the Duchy of Lancaster and the Duchy of Cornwall. Lancaster brought in $25 million last year, Cornwall $30 million just for Prince Charles. And there is more money coming in to the royal household from sponsorship of products like whiskey, jackets and whatnot. Money that unlike the income of subjects is not subject to the same scrutiny. The Queen has a personal estimated wealth of about $500 million by way of jewellery, not least from India, and other properties such as little castles scattered here and there around the country. Not officially private all of it, but in effect private. She can't sell Buckingham Palace, why would she want to? She can't sell Windsor Castle, but they are there for her and for her family to inherit generation after generation. That should be the lot, and it is a lot. But guess what? That's still not all of it. Nobody knows how much money royalty has in bank accounts. We simply don't have access to those. Royalty almost certainly earns more for Britain than it does for itself, primarily through tourism. Britain gets about 40 million tourists a year, spending an estimated $40 billion, and much of that is around the royalty within Britain. This palace here, that castle there, and there is money that royalty earns through events that it engages in, royal weddings, anniversaries, birthdays, a host of events that bring in a great deal of sponsorship. And that's a lot of money that royalty brings into Britain for the British.